Traders, I'm going to take off uh, early today. And that's not because I'm making money, because usually you see me taking off early when I'm making money. But uh, that is definitely not the case today. As you can see, I'm down deep in the hole with uh, three losers and over $23,000 in loss. You know, I do have uh, one and a half losing days uh, average a week. I did not have a losing day this week so far. Uh, well, it's just the third day and we do have short week. But, you know, that's that's my average and that's my average winning day and that's my average losing day. And I'm done with just three trades. Uh, the short uh, description of what I did today is uh, going long Tesla and before moving higher, it took me out. So I have a loser in Tesla. I went long uh, mRNA, which is, uh, <laughs> well, what can I say? It looked good when I did went, when I did go long, but uh, then look at what happened uh, later. Fubo really just going sideways. I went short Fubo and anyway, I'm uh, done with the uh, three losing trades. I do want to talk to you real quick about um, three straight losses rule. I mentioned this one earlier and I think it's extremely important. And uh, if there's something to understand or learn from what just happened to me, then let's make it a lesson and a short one. Three straight losing trades is something that may lead you down to a psychological incapacity. You're not supposed to continue trading if you start your day this way. You know, you start your trading day. While you start your trading day, you could have a first loser. That's fine. It's not terrible. Then you, you could definitely bounce. You shouldn't take it too hard because, you know, it's your first trade. Your first trade is down. Um, if you do think about it too much, then you don't believe in yourself a lot. And then you could. It could lead you to not believe too much in yourself and be uh, too careful with your second trade or whatever. So first trade losing, no big deal, really. How about a second trade? Well, that may be a bit challenging, but you still need to get over it. Possibly lower your size for the third trade. As you can see here, my first trade was my biggest loser, Tesla. Second trade was a bit smaller loser, mRNA. Uh, third one also just a bit smaller but the thing is <coughs> if you con continue losing lower your risk and you are okay to take your third trade it did happen to me quite a lot that I had two red trades and uh, trades and somehow bounced but now what happens if you are going for a third loss well I'll tell you what if you are going for a third loss you are not in a suitable psychological state uh, to trade responsibly you just not you just went over the line uh, you're at the point where you probably think you can believe in yourself because you are looking for the fourth trade. You definitely are looking for the fourth trade. The reason you're looking for the fourth trade is because you really need very much deep down in yourself to recover the uh, amount of money that you lost. Um, in this situation, I can tell you that you are not psychologically in, in psychological capacity to trade, but you probably will not agree with me. Because, you know, at that point, the only thing that works deep down in your mind is your will to get back to green. Your will to show yourself, to prove yourself that you can do it. Uh, you probably had uh, just had uh, bad luck uh, with your previous three trades. You're going to find the next one, which is going to be an amazing trade. Now, at that point, everything that you point out, every trade that looks good to you, every trade that a trader would post here in the trading room would look to you like the perfect trade, the one that's going to save your day and you are about to, you know, just go crazy. Um, you know, uh, traders often come to the point where they're making money regularly and uh, um, uh, having good period of times where they, they succeed in trading. And every once in a while comes a big losing day, which just take you off balance and puts you in deep red. And sometimes you blow your account in just one red day. How many of you guys uh, had that day before? Not necessarily blow your account, but uh, goes down deep red after just one terrible day, after getting to the point where you totally you know, you believe in yourself, you're doing well for weeks, and then all of a sudden, just one big, great uh, red day. So, you know, when I started out trading, it happened to me quite a lot. And uh, I came to the point where I really felt like I'm doing good, and then all of a sudden, one big red day. 
in order to you know stay away of these days you got to have some rules if you don't have very very clear cut rules you're going to get there if I would have continued today yes I, I could have had the chance to get back to green I could but I'm not aware that the situation that I am in right now is a situation where I am really at risk to myself and I'm not really absolutely understanding it I could understand it two hours from now or later so what you need to do when you do come to three losing uh, consecutive three consecutive losing trades and you don't often see me um, come to that point it's quite rare but whenever it happens just stop trading and uh, more than that shut down your computer don't just keep it on don't keep your uh, trading software running because what will happen if you do that you'll come back in 30 minutes just to take a look at what the market doing oh well the market just moved down yeah the S&P just moved down well maybe maybe there are some opportunities maybe I could still save my day well I'm still feeling like I could do something so don't just shut your trading platform shut down your computer and stay away of it just stay away don't be tempted to come back just to take a look at uh, what happened just to take a look at what's going on in the trading room just to take a look at what's going on with the market just to take a look at your beloved stock that just moved high or lower just don't do that stay away keep to the rules you know that uh, the one of the biggest advantages of uh, experienced traders is discipline this is a very important tool in self-discipline so all the best traders and um, well you know sometimes uh, a red day is also an opportunity to learn something I hope uh, it helped you and if you are uh, with us uh, on YouTube just a thumb up here uh, for this short lesson I, I hope and uh, thank you for helping our channels by doing our channel by doing so and uh, thank you all traders and uh, see you all tomorrow so just take care bye bye